Hey guys, it's Mr. Feely, and today in Scratch Jr., we're going to make a rocket ship space video game. It's going to be very simple, and I'll show you step by step how to do it. So let's go to our orange cat here. And once you open that up, we're going to hit the little house and then the plus sign. Okay, so once we get here, let's hold down on our cat so we can get rid of him because I don't think we want cats in space. It'd be probably pretty hard for them to breathe in space. All right, so the first thing is first, let's make a, a cool space background. So let's go up to our little mountains and hills up here. Click that, and I already made one but we can go ahead and do it. I can show you how to make another one. So hit the paintbrush right up here and we're going to hit our little paint bucket and make sure that you have black selected. So the cool thing is you'll know what you have selected because it will have a little splash on it. See? So if I have green selected over here it has a little splash. So I want to make sure I have black selected because space is really dark. And then once you have your color selected and you have your paint bucket checked off here just click anywhere inside the box all right so we got a black background now and if you want to you can you know add anything you want into it like stars so I could um, take my little scribble tool this little like curvy line right here maybe set to white or yellow and you can just you know scribble some stars in these are really ugly stars but they are stars nonetheless. All right, and we'll hit our check mark up here when we're done. Okay, space. And then uh, we need to have a rocket ship. So let's hit our plus sign right here to add a character. And if you scroll all the way down, I think there's a rocket ship at the very bottom. Yep, right here. So right there. And hit the check mark when you have it. All right, so I kind of want to make this a little smaller. So what you can do just to make something smaller is you go to your little purple person here, which will, um, which we can grab a shrink tool. So you see this one right here with the person shrinking. Just grab that out. Um, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. So if you grab the wrong one, remember you can just pull it off like that and it will disappear. All right, I'll grab the shrink one. And I'm gonna tap that about four times. It's probably good. And I'm gonna bring it down here. All right, so once you have a good size, you can just throw off your shrink. And now what we need to do is we need to make buttons for our video game. So what we're gonna have happen is we're gonna have little control buttons so we can control um, the spaceship. So I'm going to make some up and down arrows. So if we go to our little plus sign here um, and then go to your paintbrush, go ahead and let's select red or any color that you want besides black. We just need it to stand out against our space background. So I'm going to select red and I'm going to select our triangle tool right here. And I'm going to make the triangle as big as kind of one of these boxes. You see how um, our grid is divided into these bigger boxes? I'm going to make it as big as that. Whoops. So if you mess up like I just messed up, just hit the back arrow right there. So let's try that again. All right, good. So that's about as big as one of those boxes. And I'm going to fill it in. So I'm going to hit my paint bucket down here. And then I'm just going to tap inside of it. All right, so now we have a red up arrow. I hit the check mark. And I'm going to drag that down into this corner. And I now also need a down arrow. 
but instead of having to go in and redo the whole thing, what I can do is I can go to add a character, the plus sign over here, and I can go, you'll see it saves the, the last one that you created. Whoops. I can go ahead, select it, but don't hit the check mark, hit the paintbrush. And what you can do is go to, you see these two arrows right here that are kind of circling each other? Click on that, and now click on your, well, hold down on your um, triangle. And you'll see it will allow you to flip it upside down when you drag your finger. And you need to be kind of very precise with it. It's very easy to, yeah, to go out of control like that. So I think something like that's good. A little crooked, but we get the sense. It's a down arrow. We'll hit our check mark here. Boop, 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 and I'll pull it right down below our up arrow. So obviously we need these arrows to do something when we when we um, tap them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my up arrow here. I'm going to come down here and what I want to do is go to my interactive block, so my yellow one here. I'm going to select this. So that means when I touch it, it's going to do something. And what I want it to do is I want it to send a yellow message. And we'll say that that yellow message is going to be received by our rocket ship. So in order to do that, you just grab the receive one. So the receive is the message that's being opened. And when he receives that message, we want something to happen. So I'm going to go to my blue arrow here for movements, and we'll say we want him to move up. So what we just said is that when we tap on the up button, it will send a message, a yellow message. And when the rocket ship receives a yellow message, it will go up. So if you look, if I tap on the up button now, so I'm actually tapping right on this arrow. He's going up. So I'm tapping right here, and he's going up. So now <clears throat> we want to do the same thing with the down arrow. So let's select that, and let's go to our start blocks here, or, or our interactive blocks, and we'll pull the touch button out, and another message. But of course, we can't have them sending the same color message, so we're going to change that to maybe red. Let's go back to our rocket ship, and we'll say when it receives the red message. So I changed the color by the way by just hitting this down arrow beneath it. When it receives the red message, it will go down. So now if I tap my down arrow here, it goes down. So of course it's not much of a game if there's not a challenge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some obstacles. So let's go to our plus sign here, and let's add in the moon. Hit the check mark, and we'll put the moon up here. And what we'll do is we'll have the moon, um, if we go to our yellow box here, when we press the green flag, the start flag up here, we're going to have our moon move to the right. So I'm going to grab this right here so it starts moving to the right. And if we go to our red blocks, we have something called a repeating block. So it means that when I press the green flag, the moon will go to the right forever. So look at that. All right, and we can actually, if we want to make it a little more challenging, we can actually add another moon in, or a star, or whatever you want to use. Let's do the crescent one this time. 
right? And we'll put that down here, and we'll do the same thing. So we'll say when we press the green flag, we'll have this moon move to the left and go to our whoops and go to our red blocks, and we'll say this will happen forever. So look at that. We got two moons moving. And so the goal would be to get our rocket ship by these moons without getting hit. And we can set our rocket ship to when it gets hit. So if we go to our yellow blocks, we'll say when it gets hit, this block right here. So if it gets touched by anything, um, mm -mm -mm. here we go. So um, we'll, we'll put our touch block out here and we'll connect it to this blue block. So again, I went, I selected this block, and now I'm going to my movement arrow, and I'm selecting the little arrow with the X on it. So what that means is that if this gets touched, if our rocket ship touches one of these moons, it's going to reset the game. So you'll actually see, I'll show you. I'm gonna hit the green flag here so it starts moving. And I'll show you, if I touch one of these moons here, boom, it brings me all the way back to the beginning. So the goal would be to get by these moons before they hit you. So you gotta keep on, oh, oh. Yeah, keep on tapping, try to, all right. So it's pretty tough and you can add as many moons as you want in there. Uh, or stars or whatever you want to put in there. But this just shows you how in Scratch Junior you can make your own video game. Isn't that pretty cool? Alright, I think, I think we're good. Alright, see you guys later.